everybody, it's now just got to you guys for part two of Spyro Season of Ice. Now I know it's been a few days since I uploaded today, you're watching this video that I have part four of Crash. So, did he just like throw his club at me? So I do apologize, I will be uploading more frequently, I just kind of got out of the whole let's play fiasco for a second. Like just cause, you know, life got rough again and... I'm so glad to see you Spyro, those Rhinox left their pterodactyls off their leashes and now they're ruining my cactus crop. I bet you can help me out, just try flaming those cactus bombs over onto the geysers, they should do the trick. So flaming bombs. They won't explode until they're on the geyser. Yeah, that makes sense, but video games for ya. Uh, and this guy's just talking about how we have to technically clear out the level. See, he did... Whoa. Oh yeah, I always forgot this. This level had the boulder guys. They're actually very annoying. They really are. I'm thinking next level we'll do Mermaid Coast, which I was going to actually originally do this episode, but then I forgot that... Oh wait... This is where I stopped last time, so I'm like, you know what, I'm not just going to randomly leave and come back. Another pterodactyl that way. I haven't found a fairy, also you have to flame all those weird cacti, uh, whatchamajiggers there to get another fairy. I know, how do I... Is it possible to... Thank you. Go figure. You're supposed to play this with the D-pad, but I'm not, so it's a tad bit overwhelming. Again, the fact that you have to flame it makes it even worse. Should've made this with the D-pad, man. Also, why did it go there twice? Did you guys see that? It moved twice. There we go. Oh, and if you die, I do believe these reset. So you gotta be really careful with that. Man, how much of this level is there? There's a lot to this level. Eh, caveman. Caveman Sam. You know, like if you watch Trailer Park Boys, there's Sam and they call him a caveman, so I guess that works. I'm assuming we're going the right way with this. No? Oh, no we are. Oh, so stepping on it completely destroys it. Good to know. They like literally tell you nothing about how to actually play the game when it comes to any other mechanic other than jumping, charging, and flaming. Well, then gliding, but that's all part of jumping technically. Oh, I got an itchy hang on. Oh, I don't know why. With the warm weather this fall, like it got really cold and now it's really warm. It gave me really bad dry skin and... Whoa, 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 if I die... Due to an enemy, oh come on, you're the greatest, Spyro, thank you. No, I'm like, if I die due to the fact that an enemy is able to hit me off screen, I will be severely angry. Oh, look at that, we fell. Let me grab a drink. Now, is that like we have one? Or are we, oh man, we gotta get all those again. Oh yeah, and they always tell you the exact same thing. And also, how did I miss the gems right next to the, the beginning character? I guess like the quest giver. Yeah, I never did do this one. I went too far ahead collecting gems. I always have a bad habit in these weird overview spiral games, like the Game Boy games. I don't know why. No, so it, it, you killed two. You didn't have one left. You killed two. So there's a lot of junk down here. Technically, every level has about the same amount of difficulty when it comes to cliffs, because you technically can't go in water either. Thanks for rescuing me, Spyro. I heard that some fairies hid, hid around flammable objects. Check everywhere, Spyro. You never know what you might find. Well, I might find you, that's for sure. Um, did I miss anything up here? I can also just use L to look around. In this game, it's way slower. I believe in Season of Flame. They increased its look speed by a lot, which is spectacular news. Oh yeah, if I had the key, I could go over there, but I don't have the key currently. There's another item I sadly lost. 
So I don't think I need to get that one anymore. Though, isn't there a guy down here? How are you like headbutting that? I wanted to. I wanted to know. Oh, there's gonna be a boulder dude up here. I knew it. Anytime there's steps, there's a boulder guy. And hey, another fairy. Thanks for warming me up, Spyro. My fingertips were starting to crinkle. That's that's what happens when you're wet, not when you're cold. That's when you're wet, not cold. Come on, game. Get your logic straight. Geez, teaching kids the wrong stuff. And oh, this is where all the fodder was? Go figure. Uh, here's another cactus I can burn. That was the hint that the one fairy gave us, the flammable objects like that. Yeah, right there. Also, that was a very delayed kill. Flamed way before that. You know what, dude? That is very unfair that you can do that. Like, you seriously have to swerve constantly just to try and not get hit. Ugh. Actually, I can swear and uh, play as many copyright games right now because technically I can't be monetized until I get 10,000 views. And we're currently only at 2,000, so yay. So I swear this was just like a, a treasure trove. Without actually being a treasure trove cove from Banjo-Kazooie. Which is another game that I will play for you guys sometime down the road, I just don't know when. I need to get a copy of the game that actually works properly. But I would like to play it. I do like Banjo-Kazooie, I'm not so good with Banjo-Tooie. Probably because I played it a lot less. Just a bunch of lava. Let's go see if we can find some of those sheep back down here. Yeah, I don't like to charge in this game just because the charging like, physics are just so bad. You bump into literally everything. Okay, I'm like, are you gonna actually eat that or not, Sparks? Okay, we need to figure out where the closest cacti is for this guy. Okay, it can't be all the way up there. Wouldn't seem fair to do that. Uh, oh, it's down here. Okay. I don't know if sheep can give you lives in this game without, you know... Like, if you could just keep killing to get lives. Like, I knew in uh, Spyro 2 and up, for the console games, they were like that. But I'm not so sure about the Game Boy games. Alright. Yeah, this is uh, very finicky, man. There we go. Oh, I think we got it. Eh. Wait, what? Oh, I'm like, you better get the kill, man. That would be bull if you didn't. Like, come on, game. You yeah, know, that was just a fairy. I need to go back up this way. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the music in this game. It's not bad, but I still think the other games were better. So for a second, I thought that didn't catch on there. Oh, hang on. We got a gem. We're missing about 50. Also, there's an enemy. So where is the cactus? And see, he charged into the wall, even though I wasn't actually aiming at the wall. Also, yes, lots of money just chilling around here. right so let's go back and grab it if it is up here like I remember it being it's not I am completely humiliating myself wait no this is the beginning never mind okay, we don't need to go back to the beginning though we do need to hit that how the heck did I end up back at the beginning I guess it just never went this one way man Die, enemy! Oh, that was apparently the final Rhinoc. Yo, Spyro! I know my brother Trogno talks so good, but we should know is we both appreciate that you done this for us. You can have my lucky thing. I'm really sorry it's melty. It was in my pocket. That's so corny, man. Sorry, I just had some orange juice. You rescued Rhonda. Like, literally, she doesn't even say anything. Her name's just Rhonda. 
Ronda Rousey. Do I have the key by chance? Okay, I know what the last two are. It's the pterodactyls and then the uh, cactus. Here's some gems. Uh, nope, not that. Did I loop around all the way back down here? I did. How did I manage that? That was absolutely crazy, man. that way. I don't know why he did that, but there we go. Yeah, and that was the final one. Thanks, Sparrow. Here, you can have this crazy looking rocket found plugging up one of the geysers earlier. Well, thank you. Allie. Thanks, Allie. Now I gotta find the final of the cactus, and then... Grab that chest of gems, and then I believe we should have literally everything in the level. Now, isn't the chest back down this way? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's down this way. Maybe not down this way. But remember, we're also looking for the, the cat. I don't know if it's one cactus, we're looking for a cacti, so. So I said the cacti. Open. Oh man, we're missing a five. Which means that five could be wherever the cactus is. Oh my god, the charging in this game is so unpolished. I don't get it. I already, I already freed it. Why do, you, why do you need to tell me that again? You, you could be like the other Spyro games and say something completely different, but no, you don't even do that. Oh, let's continue this way. And look, maybe down here? Uh, up here? The issue is like there's, you just can't fit all of it on screen at one time, so it's hard to tell. Okay, we've been this way. So maybe back down this way? It feels like all one giant maze, you know?
nothing to us. What do you mean I mean nothing to you, Spyro? You're so cruel and unusual. Oh. I was right. That's funny. Cassandra, thanks so much for rescuing me, Spyro. Those cacti were getting kind of prickly. Oh, well, thank you for actually using good English. So, let's exit the level. Yay, another 400 gems. Wait, why do I always say 400? It's clearly 300. Yay! So, in the next episode, let's go find the next level we're gonna do. We already did Lava Prairie to 100%. So let's see if there is a level that we can go do. Is there one? Ah, oh, God. Like, the fact that it's not even, like... Oh, we still can't do Mark and Mace. I believe we need 12. Actually, let's do the Sparks level in the next episode. Until then, guys, stay spirotastic. <laughs>